shout to all this bad weather for the screening. I really appreciate that. And so I don't know how many people of you live in Cambridge and how many of you have seen the graffiti alley. I've been walking. I've been walk, uh, passed by every day last year. That's why I come up with the idea to start a documentary film. And that's, tonight is a test screening. It's more like I would like to hear some of the feedback and uh, comments or uh, anything. And I will be touch up on the editing and improvement. And um, if you pass by Ali, you may have a face on the film, and if you don't like, you show up your face, or you would like to add your name on the credit, and please send me an email, as all you are, hwy at gmail, or the film you can find on the internet. Yeah. Um, now I would like to invite Pat Jordan, State Senator, to give us an opening speech.
and because like this is, is like a still like a test screening, so still have a lot of technical stuff and color and sound and uh, camera shaking and jump up and still have a lot of um, this is for that. I apologize for that because uh, because I would like to have more feedback or some comments that I will improve more on that later. I will still three four months on a uh, post post editing for the all the technical stuff and we'll fight we'll we'll hire the professional sound and the color grading and all this and work on the editing. And I apologize for that shaking camera and all the sound is not clear enough uh, all those things. And thanks for your patience. Thank you.
to get drunk and you know, like if, if, if a mother's passing by with her kids, they get into a bad reputation. And not, not all of us are bad people, you know? We, we just want to create and express ourselves and do good things to the community also. So that's just my opinion. And I thank you very much. hard to show what the power of graffiti is, and I think the amount of perspectives you got, it does it justice, so good job. Uh, there are three little things that I wanted to say that could help a little bit. First, the opening shot should be of the alley and not the supermarket mural. I think that's very important that it opens with the alley so that it's not confused at all, because this is about that graffiti primarily. Um, the second thing, I love the beats you picked. They were good beats, mm -hmm. music. But I also think that uh, graffiti is an element of hip hop culture. It's one of the four elements of hip hop culture. Rap, of course, is another one of those. So I think that having at least some music with lyrics, I think would really help elevate the full cultural experience of it. And there's a, there are a lot of talented rappers from Cambridge right now making music. So if you want, I could send you their music so you'd have Cambridge artists <coughs> over the Cambridge art being shown. Right? Yeah, so it's a more wholesome, local experience. Um, and then the last thing, I promise, is the last person who was in, uh, interviewed Luke, right? I think the second part of what he said is perfect for the ending. But we had the, the man who was talking a lot about he had the installation in the gallery, right? That should be like the climax. The part where Luke is talking about I had to these spaces, that should be like way towards the beginning when they're first talking. Just to go from the high of the gallery back down to like another person introducing how to do stuff, it kind of takes away from how big it is that he had a gallery of stuff, right? So it should start with he adds the faces, then way later on this guy's talking about his gallery, and then it goes to Luke talking about like, you know, public art's way more important. That's a good ending point. I'm splitting that up. But really though, it's it's really an awesome job. Thank you. Enough to do that, but certainly between 
Boston, Cambridge. Boston, Cambridge, there is. And there it also encourages this as a public health practice. And she, I don't know why it's relevant right now, but in terms of just the expressions of where the graffiti takes place and how it becomes a part of the community and more people become aware of the public health. Yeah, and um I mean, a, this graffiti alley is an uh, example per se about the legal graffiti. Because, I, because most people when talking about graffiti, they're thinking about illegal and whether it's not. So when they become legal, so they will become a beautiful and creative work. So if we want to reduce illegal graffiti, you need to provide a more legal wall for them to, to paint. As they say, the artists say, they, when they're kids, they, they're painting around, but when they grow up older, they want to be legal. They don't want to like running around. But if they want to paint, but no place to do it, what are they going to do? Yeah, because as a, uh, as a kind of like a therapy, relax or something, you, you can like a, do it by yourself and, uh, and uh, kind of like express them.
you know, trash removal, food removal, and you know, that battle, or whatever, what, whatever's needed. Maybe they can't do it, but us as residents, we can do that next time it comes up. You know, whatever ideas were presented here, you know. But, you know, I, I think the film is absolutely fabulous. I, I look forward to your editing.
Yeah, I think uh, probably if you know more questions, probably that's it tonight. And I will post uh, you more information like the next year the screening, and hopefully we'll see you guys again. And thanks for all this uh, very um, important information and feedback. It's really helpful for me to work on the next stage. Yeah, thanks for. Thank you.